Okay, so what I'm going to do here is an audio test, which I think this is the singular best sound that I've ever heard. <laughs> I say ever, and I know this mic adapter's only been out for like a matter of a week or something, but I think this is the best audio I've ever heard coming off an Osmo Pocket. And what it is, it's me Sennheiser. Let me just get it back up there again, hold on. Is it out the frame? Just bear with us a second. Oh, I could have thought this one through a bit better. <laughs> oh, look, look it, it, it's up there somewhere anyway. Yeah, so basically what it is, uh, I'm using a, a Sennheiser ME64. Now what it is, this is a proper like pro condenser mic. It's, it's basically a pencil mic condenser style. And I've just had a quick listen to this and it shocked me, absolutely shocked me. Um, I think the sound is absolutely awesome. Um, I'm, I'm used to this microphone, it's my main dialogue mic and I know exactly what it sounds like on other stuff and this has to be the best sound I've ever heard coming out of a pocket. Anyway, the reason why I'm testing this mostly is because I have, um, like I have a whole bunch of microphones and this one here will be the one that I would use for main dialogue with anything. So, you know, I've also just bought myself an, another little mic option to play with. It's a little angled Saramonic, it's a TRS mic. I'm gonna be adapting that with cardioid um, capsules. As it stands, it's not the best mic in the world, but it's got a fantastic mechanism on it, you know, for its body. Anyway, so I'm gonna be testing that. But for any very serious stuff, I would use this microphone. Now, what it is, um, since playing about with the pocket, I've come to realize it has got an amazing picture. Right now as well, this picture I think looks stunning. Um, I've lit, I've, I'm lit with two daylight lights here. They're just, just cheap Amazon daylight lights. Um, I think they're like 5,200 Kelvin, something like that. But as you can see, I'm exposed fine, and the background looks okay. It is it is a bit kind of going into dark behind me a little bit because the lights are mo mostly for me. Um, this picture looks ace. Now what it is, I'm putting this up against other cameras which are proper video cameras, and I'm telling you right now, the picture off this is absolutely awesome. So I'm now testing this for scenarios of it not being used for its gimbal, you know, I'm going to be testing this as a main cam for doing stuff like this, either like, you know, this could be a podcast or a vlog, but for me personally, because for the type of stuff that I do, this is easily an interview setup, absolutely all day long, an interview setup or anything for clean, clear dialogue. Um, once again, I'm absolutely stunned um, with just how good this setup is now with this microphone. Because, like, you know, I, I, I'm not brushing aside the problems with this audio system on the Osmo. Definitely has problems, without a shadow of a doubt. But like I'd already said in another video, my intention is to find out the best things I can do with it. Well, right now, this is brilliant. Um, and I, I'm thinking about now using the Pocket for a proper locked off camera, not even for it to gimbal even. So two uses I've got now, there's certain stuff I can definitely do outdoors with it because of its gimbal. But now I can do kind of like indoor or location work with a really good microphone. Now, just the, maybe one one main thing I've, I've kind of learned over the last uh, few days with all my testing, um, for whatever reason, the, uh, the pocket seems to work best in auto mode. So I'd recommend switching it to auto mode for external microphones. Now, usually high would be well sufficient enough going by other people's standards, but it's quite obvious that, you know, the system for the pocket isn't quite that. Um, so what I'm surmising here with its auto function, what it'll do, it'll apply a bit of AGC, which is automatic gain control. And it also does limiting. I'm not going to test this now. I will do a, maybe a thorough test on the processing for the pocket. But what happens is if I kind of like do a very quick loud sound into the microphone, it'll pull it back 
And then what happens is if you then pull back like away from the mic and stop being loud, you'll hear it gradually rise and back up again. Well, that's the result of dynamics processing. So yeah, I mean, for someone like myself, because I mean, first and foremost, I work professionally in, in, in video and audio. Um, I would never use automatic or AGCs and stuff like that. But in this instance, this is how it's working best. So, you know, don't fight it, work with it. So yeah, anyway, that's a little tip for people. What you may want to do is just leave it in auto mode when you're doing stuff. Also, what I have noticed as well, the better modes usually would be to put it into a fixed gain without auto. And presumably it would be a bit more relaxed on its dynamics processing. Then in that instance, you would gain into it and set your gains the way you'd want. I mean, that's how you would do it if you're working professionally. But what I've also noticed is when it's not in auto mode, the tone changes as well. This microphone didn't sound as good when I put it in high mode for some reason. So yeah, again, like I say, not ideal, but I dare anyone to argue against this sound. This is the best sound I've ever heard coming from a pocket. Anyways, uh, yes, I think this will do for, for now and I'm absolutely blown away. I am gonna start using the pocket as a proper main A camera for doing, well, stuff like this. Uh, interview stuff and what have you. And I might even start using it for like my YouTube stuff when I'm doing pieces to camera indoors. Now, now that I know that it works like this. Anyway, yeah, I've very specifically done this as a test for myself really, but also for the DJI forum. So I'd be very interested to hear people's thoughts on this sound. And um, yeah, it, the, but what it's telling me is that as long as you can match a microphone with the pocket, you're definitely gonna get absolute, not, not just but like, like not just like acceptable results, but amazing results. Anyway, yeah, I think that's that's all I need to say. <laughs> I've talked too much, but I think the dialogue as soon as I started talking was enough to actually convince of like what this is capable of doing. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, leave leave some comments anyway on the forum. Let us know what people think of uh, what this sounds like. Okay, cheers, bye bye.